Okay, so instead of starting on my um, seventh substitutions first, or any substitutions, we're going to get the one four fives better. So we're going to stick to our forms of red, yellow, and blue. Go back and get those down really well if you don't, because every time I put a little thing out like this, I get an email saying, what the heck are you talking about, red, yellow, or blue? Just, just practice those and learn them that way, because we're going to be using those names, and it's a lot easier than... And calling them one four fives uh, and you know root first second inversion or whatever so we're just going to save the numbers for the progression so here's red yellow and blue now that's my f my b flat is blue find the arpeggio of the sixth fret do the red and then the arpeggio going up to the tenth fret with the yellow so F, B flat, and now take that yellow all the way down so where we don't need the first finger anymore, that's C. We could play the C like this or like this. We're just going to play like this for now. So that's yellow. And the arpeggio goes up to the third fret. Now I make my blue from there. The arpeggio out to the eighth, and then my red here. So those are three C's. So F, B flat, and C. So that's my one, my four, and my five. With red, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, or red and yellow, and now yellow, blue, and red. I can never talk and play at the same time. So you get the idea. Those are the things you have to practice really well. And then we're going to turn them around. And I, before we turn them around, get those down to where you can do them in your sleep. Because we're going to need those before we start on the next exercise. So this could be a short one. Get that down until you can do them in your sleep. If it takes a week, do it before you go on to this next lesson. And then once you get that down, then go to the next lesson.